and okay. action. And action? All right, we got done sanding. Wait, hold on. is the window to the front of the train bugs. and our doors the green's kind of cool rustic old but the part that was facing the outside is completely rotten <laughs> Just got done sanding all the boards and now we are going to distress them which i started on i already finished this one but um basically the sanding just get rid of all the slivers and all the little nicks that are not really smooth or anything and then you take this chain pound in, simple as that the wood's soft and then you'll see you have these little marks and when we stain it and wood wood burn it with the low torch they'll actually pull that stuff out to make it look older this is going on the train that's a prop that looks like it's from the 1890s and also looks like it's been sitting which it has been for many many years so we don't want anything to really look new on the train so that's what we're doing now You want to make sure whatever hole you're drilling that you're going to be lined up on that. I almost went for the center, which is the one I did last time. I guess it's going to be a costly mistake. I've got more of these pieces. But. All right, so should be good. Sweet. So what I'm doing is I'm putting whatever these things are called dowel kits. Um, pretty much the same thing as biscuits. I don't know if you call the dowel ones biscuits since it's not an actual biscuit. But so anyway, so I numbered these one through eight here for the eight pieces. I did a long line just because the overlap. I started with short lines. As long as the two you're doing are exactly where it's supposed to be, then it will line up no problem. So it's just easier just to do a straight line all the way down both sides. Numbering obviously helps just in case you get them out of order and can't find the right hole to line up. Um, that'd be tragic. So anyway, that's where I'm at now. Now I just got to finish the other ones. Been living up here full time. This is all we're doing, and the days go by quick, and we lose track of the day. So I call it semi retirement, I guess. We report to nobody but ourselves, which is nice. But our mornings of coffee tend to last longer. <laughs> By the way, all this wood that we're using for um, this door anyway, for now, everything except for the two by threes. The two by threes we purchased 
new, but check this out. So all this wood here, as well as this, it was in a bundle. So two by eights, a mixture of all kinds of stuff. Two by eights, two by sixes, some two by fours, and then we have these little, I don't know, we call them one by threes, I think. And those one by threes, I mean, they're rough on one side, so we had to sand quite a bit from it. But anyway, Ace Hardware, I don't know if it's a return order or something, but they bundled it up and put 50 bucks on there for all of that. What are you doing? I got one more piece left. I thought I could well, try it. You stick it in. This one is already done because we only do one side for now. We may do one later. And then this one though has to be all four. So you do. Stick it in. Line up that arrow. Clamp it. Put it in. Drill until it hits the stopper. Okay, do it. You do. And maybe if we could do a couple ins and outs and do it one more time just to make sure it's clear. Okay, perfect. And clamp it. Do it, baby. Um, how? I'm teaching you.
Yeah. It's rustic. That's what we're going for. <laughs>
Okay. So, what we're gonna do. And make a mess. Is. So, we're gonna do this bottom part. Just so we're on the same page. We're gonna slide the glass in. And slide that one in too, right? We just can't get glue where the glass is going to be. Okay? So work from bottom up just to make sure we don't glue where the glass is. Okay. Ready? Too, but we had to quickly use all these clamps because it just kept bowing on us so we are gonna do the other door tomorrow because we only have four clamps here all right October 5th Jeez. and we got done with this door it turned out pretty good well we're not done done but we got the gluing done just need to sand off some edges, touch it up a little bit. And we decided that we like that stain. It looks a little weird against the red, I think. But I think when we put it next to the train, it looks pretty good. So, all right, ready? Let's see if we can do this again. It wasn't the easiest thing yesterday. Is October 6th. I was on grandpa duty all day and Janae went to the valley yesterday so um, and she's on her way back now a couple hour drive and my daughter got home so 
I'm off baby grandbaby duty, and so now I'm coming down here to, I guess uh, I resanded and burned this one. I'm gonna sand the glue off and do some touch-up burns on this one. And then we're gonna stain it. I'm gonna stain it this color right here as um, something flame. What is this thing? Uh, mahogany flame is the color. It's actually the same color I have on my deck. Um, it's kind of got that reddish rust look in it. And in here on this reddish um, tile floor. It's kind of kind of weird looking, but I tell you when we went and took it by the black train and all it, it actually the contrast is really cool. So we decided to go ahead and do it versus just originally just going to burn and then polyurethane it. Now we're going to stain it then polyurethane it or spartathane it I'm using this Home Depot oil based spar urethane. This here, I'll show you. This thing's cool. It's a, uh, except I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I know it's the, um, I know it's the uh, air compressor deal, like the air tank to pressurize. And then this is supposedly is what they use to, on this prop, this locomotive to sound the whistle. We have not tried it yet. Um, I do have an air compressor to try it, to either pump this up or do it direct. I think I'm going to do it direct first. I don't know what this um, has no markings on it. I'm kind of cautious about um, putting how much air into this thing or not. I'm sure it would hold a lot. And it looks like there's, maybe this is a relief valve. It looks like just a bicycle tire type end. So. I'm going to do some more research before I blow myself up on this one. By the way, these clamps are awesome. I know it sounds silly, but they are so cool because you can use three quarter pipe any size and basically create clamps for that, for that size. All you have to do, I think we found these at Home Depot, I'm sure it's all over the place, but these little two pieces that slide on, and then one goes on the threaded top, so you might have to make sure the pipe is threaded on one side. Um, but you get them pre-made, sized. Any size, you can make your clamps. This thing's, I know it's silly. <laughs> Anybody out there watching this, it's probably like, but yeah, this is cool. I like it. This is Lexon glass. So what we're putting in here, I just learned, I always call it plexiglass. I've always, everybody probably knows this plexiglass, which is what I'm learning is acrylic. But for the carb, carbonate, is that how you say it? I forget already. It's called Lexan or Lexane, L-E-X-A-N. So however it's pronounced. I put the metal, little just little thing just around the side. I threw some gloves up here just in case some of the heat, you know, gets to it accidentally. I'd rather be safe than sorry, right?
a little darker on the burn because we're gonna go with this red stain so we kind of want it to come through but not too much all right so I am now taping up I already did one it's kind of boring process to tape up but I'm trying to get as close to close as I can this is why we went darker too you could see the dark ones really came through otherwise there's darker stain on it kind of hides the think not too bad Let's do the slow motion Hey babe, you in pacing? Yeah, I'm secret. Say hi to my wife. Hello. I'm pacing. She slept the whole way. So she's gonna be crazy when she gets there. The dog or Riley? Yeah, I'm almost done staining the boards, so I may be at home. Yeah, I'll take pictures, or you could stop and check it out if I'm not here or something. So again, this is Australian Timber Oil Mahogany Flame. Great for decks, siding, railings, outdoor furniture. I like it. Okay, this is working. October 7th, Janae is back. These dried one night. All right, got the other side stained now. It's rustic. Even inside here, these were part of the warped boards anyway that we got in that bundle deal from Ace. So I'm sure that's kind of why it's got a little wave, but it's we want this rustic, and so I think it turned out pretty good. Some of these were even warped a little bit. Um, but again, nice rustic fit together and that's pretty much all we got planned for today since we are smoking a pork what? Yeah, babe. A pork what? <laughs> it's got some handles. These are going to go on the train doors in the center. Taking off the tape. Taking the windows. Off the tape. You hang the doors.
we get in we'll do the inside handles when it's mounted for this one we could do the outside since we just need to make sure we know where it's gonna go on the other one Take those away, please. Is that so cute? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Good. 